Born into a nation teetering on the precipice of social and political change, Xi Jinping came into the world on June 15, 1953. His father, Xi Zhongshun, a revolutionary and a prominent political figure, would unknowingly lay the groundwork for Xi's pathway into the political arena. The Cultural Revolution, however, cast a long shadow over Xi's adolescence. At just 15, he was exiled to the remote village of Liangjiahe in Yan'an, Shanxi, a dramatic departure from the relative comfort of his early years. Stripped of the conveniences of urban life, Xi faced a brutal yet transformative period in Liangjiahe. He labored alongside rural peasants, learned firsthand about agricultural challenges, and confronted the trials of rural poverty. This time of adversity laid the foundation for his nuanced understanding of China's vast socio-economic landscape, an understanding that would significantly inform his future leadership. In 1974, after seven years in rural Yan'an, Xi Jinping became a member of the Communist Party of China, CCP. This marked a critical juncture in his life, launching him into the political sphere. His journey would eventually lead him to Tsinghua University, where he earned a degree in chemical engineering and later a doctorate in law. As Xi Jinping's academic profile grew, so too did his political ambitions. After becoming a member of the Communist Party, Xi Jinping began a steady climb up the ranks of Chinese politics. His first stepping stone was Hebei province, where he served in numerous posts, gaining invaluable experience in the intricacies of both administrative and party operations. By 1985, Xi had impressed party officials to such an extent that he was appointed mayor of Xiamen, Fujian. He would remain in this position for the next 17 years, a testament to his administrative prowess. In Fujian, Xi distinguished himself with effective anti-corruption measures and a balanced governance approach, enhancing the economic and social fabric of the region. His performance caught the eye of the party's top brass, propelling him to the position of party secretary of Shanghai in 2007. It was here that Xi began to gain national attention, further solidifying his standing within the party. Xi's most significant political leap occurred in 2008, with his election as vice president of the People's Republic of China. Concurrently, he was appointed vice chairman of the Central Military Commission, signaling his growing influence within the party. Finally, in November 2012, Xi reached the pinnacle of his political journey, elected general secretary of the CCP and chairman of the Central Military Commission. Yet, the nation he now led was grappling with pervasive corruption, a challenge he would need to confront head-on. As the historian and sinologist Wang Gungwu aptly put it, Corruption threatened the very existence of the party in the country. The time had come for Xi Jinping to leave his lasting imprint on the Chinese political landscape. In 2012, a critical juncture was reached in China's political landscape, with Xi Jinping's election as General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, signaling the beginning of the Xi era. Xi, already known in political circles for his princeling status, as the son of veteran revolutionary Xi Zhongshun, had steadily climbed through the ranks, garnering a reputation for his practical approach to governance, strong anti-corruption stance, and firm commitment to party discipline. His tenure as the party chief of Zhejiang province, where he championed the blend of private enterprise and government guidance, demonstrated his unique leadership style. He successfully fostered economic growth, while maintaining the dominant role of the Communist Party. This pragmatic approach was evident in his subsequent role as the Vice President of the People's Republic of China, which paved the way for his ascension to the party's top post. His rise was not without contention, however. Behind closed doors, it was a complex dance of alliances, political maneuvering, and key policy positions that eventually led to Xi securing the top spot. Once in power, his consolidation was swift marking the beginning of a new assertive era of Chinese leadership. As the leader of the world's most populous nation, Xi Jinping has steered China with a firm hand and a clear vision for its global standing. He has implemented sweeping reforms across military, economic and environmental sectors, aimed at bolstering China's international image as a modern progressive superpower. Under Xi's governance, the PLA underwent a significant restructuring, intended to transform it into a leaner, more modern and efficient fighting force, capable of fighting and winning modern wars. 
This move not only enhanced China's defense capabilities, but also cemented Xi's control over the military. Xi's leadership is also characterized by an unprecedented crackdown on corruption within the Communist Party. Known as the Tigers and Flies campaign, this anti-corruption drive targeted both high-ranking officials, Tigers, and low-level bureaucrats, Flies, purging the party of corrupt elements. Critics, however, argue that this campaign also conveniently eliminated Xi's political adversaries, strengthening his hold on power. Furthermore, under Xi's rule, China's approach to information control and internet censorship has intensified, causing concern about a growing trend of authoritarianism. But for Xi and his supporters, these hardline measures are seen as necessary for China's continued growth and stability, projecting China as a confident, powerful player on the global stage. It's within this context that Xi Jinping's leadership must be examined, as he continues to shape China's trajectory in the 21st century. Under Xi Jinping's rule, China's economic narrative has taken a definitive direction, marked by bold economic policies, ambitious poverty eradication targets, and a clear shift from an export-driven to a consumer-driven economy. Xi's commitment to making China a prosperous society, in all aspects, has been at the forefront of his economic strategy. The World Bank's confirmation of China's significant progress in lifting millions out of poverty is a testament to this pledge's effectiveness. In the international arena, Xi's economic policies have demonstrated a broader ambition of not just propelling China into a superpower status, but also reshaping the global economic order. The establishment of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, AIIB, an initiative conceived under Xi's rule, is a key illustration of this ambition, challenging the supremacy of traditional Bretton Woods institutions. This move, along with Xi's other economic initiatives, such as the Made in China 2025 Inches strategy to upgrade China's manufacturing sector and reduce dependence on foreign technology, signals a determination to transform China's economic structure. However, it's essential to note that Xi's ambitious economic policies have not been without controversy. They've been the cause of global debates over market access, intellectual property rights, and a perception of increased economic protectionism in China. The global perspective on Xi Jinping's leadership is varied, encompassing a mix of admiration, skepticism, and concern. Some observers hail Xi's strong hand on corruption, his unwavering commitment to China's modernization, and his decisive economic policies as clear markers of an effective leader. There's a belief that Xi's assertive stance has been a catalyst for much-needed reforms within China. However, the path Xi has carved is not without detractors. Critics highlight the increased consolidation of power, curtailment of civil liberties, and a perceived lack of transparency as signs of a veering towards an authoritarian rule. In a brazen display of power, Hu Jintao, the former president of China, was seen escorted off the stage at the Great Hall of the People. This unprecedented incident occurred on the final day of the Congress, raising numerous questions and leading to widespread speculation regarding its implications. Hu, aged 79, appeared reluctant to leave the stage, sparking concerns about his health. However, no confirmation or clarification has been offered by the Chinese government, leaving observers to draw their own conclusions. The departure of Hu Jintao from the main stage has raised two major theories among China watchers. The first suggests that Hu's removal was a part of China's power politics a symbolic purging of the older, more liberal order from the party. Such a move could be seen as a stark indication of China's shift away from the approach of the Hu years towards a more aggressive and centralized model under current leader Xi Jinping. The other theory postulates that Hu might be suffering from serious health issues. Observers noted that Hu seemed slightly unsteady and was assisted onto the stage at the opening ceremony of the Congress. However, the question arises, if this was indeed due to health concerns, why was the exit carried out in full view of the cameras? The highly scripted nature of the Communist Party's mass meetings adds an extra layer to this puzzle, as airing disagreements or problems in public is quite unusual in Chinese politics. If the incident was indeed a deliberate show, it would mark a significant departure from regular behavior. Under Xi Jinping's leadership, China has been steered towards a nationalistic trajectory, with less tolerance for dissent and a shift towards tighter control over civil liberties. This Congress has further solidified Xi's status as China's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong, 
leaving no room for alternate paths economically, socially and politically. These aspects of Xi's leadership, coupled with concerns about human rights, have created a complex picture of his time at the helm of China's Communist Party. On the international stage, Xi's leadership has been viewed with apprehension, particularly by Western democracies. China's growing assertiveness under Xi, specifically in areas of trade and territorial disputes, have led to a recalibration of global dynamics. Regardless of differing opinions, one thing is clear. Xi Jinping's leadership has indelibly marked a significant era in China's modern history. The impacts of his leadership on China and its global position will continue to evoke intense scrutiny and debate. Despite his best efforts to project an image of strength and confidence, Xi Jinping has proven surprisingly sensitive towards a beloved British cartoon character, Winnie the Pooh. The children's character has found itself entangled in a peculiar geopolitical controversy in China, becoming a satirical symbol for Chinese President Xi Jinping. The trend began in 2013 during Xi's visit to the United States. A photo of Xi walking with then-President Obama sparked comparisons to Winnie the Pooh and Tigger on Chinese social media. A similar comparison emerged in 2014, likening Xi and Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. These comparisons, humorous to many, were met with severe disapproval by the Chinese Communist Party. As the memes spread, Chinese authorities initiated a widespread purge of the satirical images, aiming to protect the dignity of their leader. The censorship intensified in 2015, when a meme juxtaposing Xi and Winnie the Pooh in a toy car went viral, leading to it being dubbed China's most censored photo of the year. By 2018, China banned Disney's Christopher Robin, a film adaptation of the Winnie the Pooh franchise, showing the extent of its campaign against the seemingly innocent bear. Despite Beijing's efforts, the Pooh comparison has gained global popularity, even leading to anti-Xi badges in Taiwan featuring the bear. This tale highlights the unique intersection of internet culture, political satire, and state censorship in modern China. As we draw to a close, we encourage your participation in this conversation. How do you perceive Xi Jinping's leadership style? Do you think it's beneficial or detrimental to China's growth and global standing? We welcome your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Red Watch TV. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below, and we look forward to seeing you next time.